In today's video, we're opening his childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection video where I purchased someone's childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Before we hop into it, we have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three pins, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician, the big three. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what was in your childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection and what do you think about this? I think it's like a deck, so we're gonna see like how comparable and how good was this deck compared to yours back in the day. Would you have cooked this guy in the playground or not? I got this collection, a friend of mine, Rich from Magic to Millions, we did that magic opening. We do have a couple more coming at some point when I finally get around to putting them out. Uh, his friend actually gave him this or like got him to sell it to me. So now we're gonna check it out and see what we should pay for it. So obviously this is, it's childhood worthy. Look at all this tape on it. Keep it closed, the Velcros come off. I mean, it's a beat up deck box, so we're gonna see what's inside. It looks like it's a deck, so it's just old school throwback cards, childhood collection. We're gonna go through these like one at a time. Let's see, first of all, Blade Edge. So I got a little ding at the top, but first edition, super rare. I'm guessing there's not a ton of like huge value cards in here, but maybe there's some gold that he had and he didn't know he had. Maybe he did know he had it. I don't actually, they didn't tell me. All right, we have an ultimate rare, so uh, that's already better than I was expecting. Ultimate Rare Aquarian Alesta from Tactical Evolution. Pretty cool. Then we have Venomin. So we did make it to Tactical Evolution. The top edge is completely destroyed there, which is uh, 2007. So still pretty old at this point. We have an Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. That's pretty cool. You might see a little, pre oh, my, my face might be in the way, which is perfect. So you guys can't see what's there. That's from Duelist Pack. So that's pretty awesome. Very dark on the coloring. I like this. Looks really cool. Next one, we have a big one. We got a Jinzo. Let's check this thing out. Childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection condition. Plus, we're gonna have to toss these sleeves anyway. They're absolutely disgusting. They're nostalgic condition is what you could say. And probably a lot of these cards will be nostalgic condition as well. That is a reverse foil, Jinzo. That's pretty cool. Look at the surface though. Eesh. Childhood collection indeed. Okay, but reverse Jinzo from Pharaoh Servant. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty nice card. I will put that one in a sleeve real quick. That is pretty nice. And we have an Imperial Order, which appears to also be re reverse hollow. That's pretty cool. Reverse for both Pharaoh's Servant Secrets. Pretty nice. Reverse Unlimited. Okay, back's pretty pretty uh, nostalgic, if you could say that. It definitely been played. So honestly, he's got some powerful cards in his childhood deck. Genzo and Imperial Order. That's going to be tough to beat on the playground. And we've got a Mage Power. So, I mean, we're not talking high value so far. Even, I mean, the reverse Genzo is going to have some value. But like, within this condition, we're not talking like huge prices here. That's actually pretty okay condition for the Mage Power. It's so first end, no, it's unlimited. Okay, so this is not going to be huge either. But still, it's at least like, you know, pretty decent condition. These like the double sleeving but even then like through all this stuff it's some of them are double sleeve some are not it's just hard for these uh to really stay in good condition if they've been in a deck and a deck box and you know the same sleeves for so long the fiend mega cyber this one looks pretty good honestly these these last couple aren't too bad actually they're a little warped but that's not really a huge deal oh wow first ed magic cylinder okay First edition, that's pretty cool. First edition secret. Okay, the double sleeve going the same direction. That always cracks me up. But back in the day, who even knew? Okay, secret rare. That's just normal because it's first head, so it can't be reverse. Back is, honestly, this is like, is this lightly played? A lightly played first head cylinder. Honestly, not bad there. That's pretty solid, actually, for especially for a nostalgic condition. I mean, from what we've seen from everything else, that's pretty, pretty really good, I should say. Not just pretty good, really good. We have Sinister Serpent up next from the, t or not the 10, the game. Not horrible condition there as well. Honestly, these are not too bad. I mean, these, these last few have been pretty good. Harvey's Feather Duster, this is a really cool one. Obviously, the Harvey's Feather Duster is incredible. Now, not banned. I think it's at one. So, pretty good on the front. Yeah, those game promos are actually pretty solid. So, the condition is picking up as we're going, which is surprising to be honest uh crystal seer I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna bother to go crazy on some of the conditions of these like crystal seer this is not an ultimate this is an ultra these sometimes these old sleeves are really hard to get it out crystal seer ultra rare okay sleep up some of these later we have magic jammer magic jammer i had a couple of these in my original deck which i still have by the way we have magic jammer that thing is destroyed on the corner there Still jamming those magic cards though, pretty cool. Until they become spells, now it doesn't work anymore. It has to be spell jammer, unfortunately. <laughs> Axe of Despair, just kidding, that's not true. Okay, Axe of Despair, let's see about you. 
Not a lot of first deads. A random first dead cylinder. That was pretty cool that the secret was first dead. Powering up those attacks. I mean, back in the day, it was just getting those attack points high with the mage power, the axe of despair. I mean, this is a perfect nostalgic condition. Like Harvey's Feather Duster, Magic Jammer. You don't want them to be using their cards. This is so classic. This is the ultimate playground deck. We got a 2300 attack monster. Put Axe of Despair on this guy. I mean, oh my goodness. It'd be 3300 attack mage power as well. Pretty beat up on the bottom right there. But other than that, not horrible. Snatch Steel. I mean, you, ca you can't. I mean, it's just classic. Snatch Steel is a classic card. And obviously stealing an opponent's monster. I mean, it does not get better than that. Wow. Yeah, these are, this is the ultimate like nostalgia deck right here. United we stand. More powering up attack points, obviously. Got to do that. See if we can get any more first eds throughout here. Magic card, Elowin. Wow, that one's actually really good condition. Like almost near mint. Pretty sweet. Okay, if that was first ed, that would actually be pretty expensive. Unlimited still not. I mean, it's probably a few bucks. Call the Haunted. Great card. Bring your cards back. Obviously, you want to do that. Pair this with Mage Power, you know, you got, got this on the field, Mage Power, it's another thousand attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mirror Force, I just want to play with some old school decks now. I think it'd be fun to do like a duel with like just like childhood Yu-Gi-Oh decks, you know? It'd be fun just to bring like the, the nostalgia. Let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Maybe I can make that happen. We have Mirror Force, Ultra Rare. We have Mystical Space Type, oh, this is the first end. Okay, front looks pretty promising. Okay, back has some scuffing, but overall for first ed, that's pretty good. We'll take it. First ed, Mystical Space Typhoon. Very nice. More Acts of Despair, naturally. Got to keep powering up those monsters. More first ed. Here we go. First ed, Ceasefire. Pretty cool. This one is not double sleeved, it seems. Just single sleeve. So this is an interesting deck because you got some double sleeve, some not. I mean, this is this is kind of illegal. Okay, on the playground, you can maybe get away with it. You have Ceasefire. You know exactly what card it is. Okay. That one's pretty beat up. More tactical evolution. Blazewing butterfly. What if we get a rainbow dragon out here? Oh, Ghost share just pops out. Ultimate rare butterfly. That thing's like near mint to mint. I don't know if he ever played with this one. I think he pulled it, put it in his deck, and then quit Yu-Gi-Oh immediately. Because <laughs> that one looks really good. Symbols of duty. A rare in here. Interesting. I guess a Gemini card for his Geminis. Yeah, sometimes you get... I had a com some commons in my deck just to work with some of my other cards. Like the cybernetic... What is it? Cy Cyber barrier dragon card. Whatever that thing was called. Okay, just a common. Okay, another Alessa. So he sleeved up the super and not the ultimate rare. That's interesting. Interesting. I guess he didn't even know about ultis. I didn't know about ultis back in the day. I had an ulti cyber barrier dragon and had no idea. Cyber Phoenix. This one's single sleeved as well. The sleeves are all over the place. That's pretty nice condition, but it's a super, so it's not going to be crazy. Nobleman of Cross out. Very good card back in the day. You definitely wanted this one, especially people setting cards nonstop. Pretty nice condition on this one. Pretty decent. And then a second cross out. Obviously, you know, you don't want any man eater bugs. You don't want any Hane Hanes. You don't want any fiber jars, cyber jars, any of that crap flipping up. That's scary stuff. So just noblemen of cross out and you're free for the rest of the rest of the game. They can't actually do it. So you're going to be all banished. Okay. Okay. Alias is just a super. Don't need to really check that one too much. Those are not too crazy. Might be a dollar because it's alias butterfly. He's got all kinds of Gemini's in here from Tactical Evolution, the uh, Doom Shaman. I feel like this is like getting into a new territory of like old school, you know, uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Okay, magic card version. Cool. These sleeves are absolutely annihilated. Swords of Revealing Light. Okay, that top left is <laughs> beat. Okay, but that's pretty cool. Magic card, L-O-B-E, Classic Unlimited. I mean, you can't really top it. Penguin, there's another one you want to know when across out. Penguin Soldier. Had, it's had its time in Progression Series 2 as well. Gage has been uh, Penguin Soldiering Simo. It's been fun. Um, except unless you're Simo, probably not as fun. Okay, first edition Penguin. Very cool. Ooh, this next one is a absolute favorite of mine. Raigeki from back in the day. I used to be like, this is literally the card. You have this card you cannot possibly lose. And I had two of them, which was, I think, illegal at the time. <laughs> the time of me doing it. But I was like, this is the coolest card ever. Destroy all your opponent's monsters. How can you possibly top that? I unfortunately didn't have a Harpy's Feather Duster back then. I don't even know if I knew about it. Heavy Storm. If I did, I probably def probably definitely. I keep doing probably and then definitely after that. <laughs> but I would have had it in my deck if I had one. We had a Heavy Storm. That thing is beat. But very good card as well. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer first edition. Very cool. See what this one's looking like. Come on. Man, it's so hard to get these out. They're like stuck in there. Okay. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Oh, front looks good. Back looks good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like we're looking like VLP on some of these cards. That's pretty nice. Super rare first ed and go format card. So, all right. Unlimited Bazoo. 
pretty nice. Not terrible. Robin Goblin, MRD rare. Very nice. Oh, we've got a secret coming up next. Interesting. Okay, Robin Goblin. That's just a rare. Is this a secret Mormolith? I think it is, right? I can't see because it's these sleeves are so dirty. You can't even see the foil. Yes, this is a secret rare out of tactical evolution. Looks like this guy opened a lot of tactical evolution back then, or else someone did and he got their cards. Mormolith, that's interesting. Pretty nice condition. Another Robin Goblin. All right, be taking those cards out of the hand. That's first at MRD, or no, SDP, sorry, not MRD. That would've been cool. Is that even in MRD? I think it is only SDP. Okay, Light of Intervention. Pharaoh Servant, right? This should be PSV. Yeah, Pharaoh Servant. We have Fossil Tusker. This is a rare from Tactical Evolution. So many uh, Tactical Evolution cards. 1800 attack though, so I see why this one's in here. Pretty big. Destroys the opponent's monster, sends it to the graveyard. It inflicts 400 damage as well, so it's got a little burn action. The Red Moon Baby? Oh, why is this in here? Can be special summon it face up at the end of the battle phase to your side. Oh, this is the Go- is this a Goyo effect? I didn't know this. So this would like Acts of Despair become 1700 or like Mage Power and then you start stealing their monsters. I never read Red Moon Baby. It's it's the original Goyo. That's really cool. Huh. That's pretty awesome. Okay, Trap Reclamation. Red Moon Baby. I was like, why would this be in his deck? It's so wimpy. Has a pretty good effect. That's why. Trap Reclamation. You can even put him in attack instead of defense like Goyo. Uh, Hayabusa Knight. Double attack. Obviously, this is going to be in most people's decks back in the day. You get this with Acts of Despair. 2k attack. Attack twice. I mean, hard to top that one. Summoner's Art. I think this is just a rare attack tool evolution. I don't know what this one does. So I'd be fun to do like a like a sort of a draft of like old cards. You know, I mean, it's been been done many times, but it'd be fun to do it. Add one level five or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. What does he even have? Level five normal. Does he have anything in this deck for that? Are there any targets? Wait, I got to figure this out. I don't remember him having a normal monster over level five. Maybe he has like a blue eyes or something at the end that we haven't gotten to. Wait, maybe it's in our sleeved cards. He doesn't have, even have a normal monster at all. So maybe he was not reading the normal part and he just, or maybe back then he assumed normal monster meant just any monster, you know, effect monster included. Uh, Magician of Faith, for not first end. That's an MRD card. Uh, if there's not one in here, that's going to be funny. <laughs> it'll be, but it will be perfect for a childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection for it not to actually have a target and be in the deck. We have a uh, common charity. Hey, the new format, which does anybody play that? I'm not sure. If you guys have played common charity, let me know. And by new, I mean like a year old, but so cool. Sangan. I mean, I obviously got to have a Sangan in here. That's pretty good. That is going to search you because some cards. We got Phalanx Pike. This is more increasing attack. So I'm sure is it 900? And then if it, you have two of them, it's like another 900. Yeah. Oh, OK, about the graveyard. Interesting. So, yeah, that's an interesting equip spell. It's a little bit later, but it's obviously worse than Axe of Spare with only one of them. Gravity Bind time. Gravity. How is he going to use Gravity Bind in this deck? Like most of his cards are four stars, aren't they? Interesting. So I guess it's just to stop the, the opponent if you need to. This one works, Hunter Dragon, 1700. This would be pretty good. You know, Axe of Despair, Under Gravity Bind, 2700 attack. So maybe that could work. That would actually be kind of cool. I don't know, maybe maybe he does have a lot of under fours. I'll have to check. Gravity Bind, a second copy. Another Magician of Faith. Obviously got to get those spell slash magic cards back from the graveyard so you can keep using them and namely all his uh, equip spells. We have a trap or spell rec reclamation. He wants to get the, he really just wants to get those big monsters out there. Use Axe of Despair if it goes away. Get it back with some sort of spell card or Mag Magician of Faith, something like that. All right, here's the last card. How you boost tonight? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think about this childhood collection. It's pretty classic. It's a pretty playgroundy deck. You know, a lot of cards like double attackers or boosting attack and stuff like that. Getting your card back, destroying all your opponent's monsters. I mean, it just brings back really good memories of playing on the playground at church and all those different places where I would play. So very cool. Pretty awesome to get this. Uh, probably not worth a ton. I'm gonna have to go through it and see, but it's still so much fun to do this every once in a while. Just go through cards that are probably not worth a lot, but bring back really, really good memories. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ Liu, Gwen 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.